Let's solve this one. Wonderful question. Really tough. But there's a very simple juicy way of doing this. I'm going to do it with the juiciest method possible. I'll give you a starting step for doing the more rigorous method, but not going to get into that. Right. X and Y are positive real numbers satisfying X plus Y is 102. Then the minimum possible value of 2601 into 1 plus 1 by X into 1 plus 1 by Y. Talk about positive real numbers. And the best way to go about it is pick two extremes. Put x is 0.1, y is 101.9. Or x is 1, y is 101. The other extreme, put x is 51, y is 51. You're through. Let's do that. Let's put x is 1, y is 101. We worry only about this. 1 plus 1 by 1 into 1 plus 1 by 101. This is one possibility or we're talking about 1 plus 1 by 51 into 1 plus 1 by 51. This is barely more than 1 but this is 2. This is 2 into 1 point something. Both of these are barely more than 1. And so this is going to be way greater than this. Or we want to find the minimum possible value. The way to go about it, Planck X as 51, Y as 51, both equal, we are good to go. How do we do that? Let's look at that. Put X as 51. So looking at 2601 into 1 plus 1 by 51 or 52 by 51 into 52 by 51. 1 plus 1 by 51 is 52 by 51. 51 into 51, funnily enough, is 2601. 52 into 52, you should find that. But I happen to know that it is 2704. So the, 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 the textbook way of doing this, trying to establish, trying to find the maximum way of this, maximum range for this, all of that is, is tricky. But the, the quick, quick and dirty way, we're told that both are positive real numbers. Stick both of them as equal, stick both of them far apart. And then see where you land up. Both of them far apart takes us to a larger number. Equal takes us to a very small number. Go for the small number, you're good to go. The other way of doing this, x plus y is 102. I'm going to anchor around the midpoint. So I'm going to say x is 51 plus k, y is 51 minus k. So we have incorporated that constraint with a single variable. So you can say 2601 into 1 plus 1 by 51 plus k into 1 plus 1 by 51 minus k and simplify. You'll get an expression in terms of k. You have a look at it, you'll be able to find where it goes to maximum, where it goes to minimum, and then you're good to go. The, the textbook method works like this. You won't have to differentiate or anything, you can still find the answer. It's not rocket science. That method also takes you to the answer reasonably quickly, but this is far better. Plonk in one extreme, plonk in the other extreme, you're good to go. Hush.